everybody, and welcome into this edition of Pelicans Insider on Valley Sports New Orleans. I'm your host, Jen Hale. Mark this date down on your calendars, Monday, March 21st. That's when your New Orleans Pelicans will travel to Charlotte, North Carolina, to take on the Hornets. And for several players on this Pelicans roster, it will be a very special homecoming. We got a lot of people from North Carolina here. Probably the Bojangles. It's not even in the water. It's the Bojangles. <laughs> Smithfield-born Gary Clark just might be on to something. How else can you explain five New Orleans Pelicans have roots in the Tar Heel State? Well, North Carolina is uh, known as a hoop state. I mean, we call it a hoop state out there. It depends on where you are. If you go to Cary Academy, where there's 400 students in the whole high school, and don't really care about basketball like that? No, it doesn't really mean much. Hey, you seen that's where it gets really like competitive and really feisty. Uh, it was crazy is that we none of us ever played each other, but it was we were all in the same gym at the same time at different AAU tournaments or uh, we had a thing called a high school OT, uh, and basically it's a huge Christmas tournament, and like the top players bring their their teams come, and you know it's one place where everybody in the city could come watch the top, the biggest talent. So we always was in the same gym, but we never played each other because either one of our teams lost or, you know, just we never matched up. It just seems like North Carolina uh, breeds basketball everywhere you go. It's a gym to go into with some pretty talented players that you can get some good pickup with. You can have some good workout partners. So uh, North Carolina kind of breeds basketball. Raleigh native Devontae Graham had the distinction of returning home to begin his professional career with none other than the Charlotte Hornets. But he and Cary Academy's Trey Murphy fondly remember their respective high school competitions. It's nice. It's, it's a good competition. Uh, I went to a public school. So, I mean, we got like Word of God with John Wall and them win and stuff like that. So, uh, it's definitely good out there. Those private schools that have guys that, so I'll just say, for example, my year, the first team, like all tournament team, was Kansas, Clemson, UNC, basically like really high major guys. And you don't really see that in just one conference by itself. So it's a pretty, pretty competitive like, state, I would say. Zion Williamson was born in Salisbury before graduating high school in South Carolina. Then returning to Durham, of course, for his lone college season at Duke. Yes, their paths have been very different, but all five North Carolina natives have found a home here in New Orleans. For a guy like myself that's kind of bounced around the league and is still trying to find his way, it's like, okay, you know, we're big brother, little brother to each other. You can see it and it makes it more obtainable. The big question, when the Pels play in Charlotte, how many tickets will these guys need to grab for family and friends? There's a prop bet for you. My whole town is like four and a half hours from Charlotte, but it seems like every time I go to Charlotte, like the whole the whole town is there. So they, they definitely show their support. Um, I, 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 maybe over a hundred ticket requests for sure. 